All right, guys, how you doing? Hope everyone's doing good. Closing around the holidays here. So uh, I thought, you know, because everyone's going to be spending money on uh, gifts and, you know, maybe you find this video later. Uh, I've been thinking about what if people don't really have, you know, to, to even put aside a few hundred bucks a month. So rather than, uh, you know, get a, get a promotion or, or an increase in income, which may not be possible right now or you're in between jobs, come up with some ways that you can actually do uh, on the side. Uh, some of these are super passive, others require more work and uh, the, the income potential is pretty, pretty unlimited. So cool, the cool thing is I've tried pretty much most of them. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started uh, and I'll show you guys um, some tips and some things that have actually worked for me because even if you make you, like your first two, three dollars online, you start going crazy and you start being like, damn, like how, how can I make this more? How can I, um, you know, uh, like how, how can I find more clients? How can I, you know, do more things so I can make more money. You kind of get into that like really passionate uh, atmosphere. So, uh, <clears throat> firstly, I just want to say that the like, uh, what I find is the absolute best, most passive income because it's actually truly like, extremely passive. You can not even check your portfolio if you're doing this uh, in, in large amounts later on when you're just kind of uh, receiving the dividends, receiving the distributions and stuff like that. Uh, building that rock solid thing and then retiring uh, at a certain age, maybe earlier, maybe later. Uh, big proponent of the FIRE movement where you want to be retirement optional um, a lot earlier. So a dollar saved now is exponentially more. Uh, at 8%, uh, $1 in 40 years is actually $2,173. Um, so really, the more money that you're saving today, the more money you're going to be getting later, right? So you can get to a point where the money uh, that you're being re is being reinvested is, is way more than what you're putting in, okay? So we wanna get that started as soon as possible. And for those that are overachievers and they wanna keep putting in as much as possible, cut their expenses, maximize their revenue, uh, let's go ahead and start on some side hustles. So number one is writing, okay? By the way, I've put all the links there in the, uh, in the uh, uh, description below, okay? And uh, for, for one or two, uh, for example, so if you are interested in the other ones, make sure to Google them, okay? So writing, uh, I've personally used iWriter uh, many times when I was uh, in, uh, in school. Don't make too much off of this, but turnaround time is pretty quick and you can just sign up, uh, start writing articles and the more highly rated you are, uh, you get better paying articles. Um, I think I was making like at a at like a very basic level, about like five bucks per article, even less. But as you get to the premium packages, um, when you start getting like a four point five rating or five rating, plus they can tip you, you can start earning some uh, some decent decent money. Um, if you don't want to go to the article route and you want to actually write a book, so writing a book is actually pretty, not, not too bad, it's just time consuming, but if you actually are super knowledgeable about a um, subject, or if you, you can write something like fiction, you can always write something um, about anything, you can, um, you can just self-publish on Kindle, and they'll show you how to do that pretty easy. You just kind of drop the files, and then you can... Um, uh, you, can, you can just get someone very cheaply off, like Fiverr, for example, which we'll talk about. Uh, it's a freelance site to design you a, uh, uh, a book cover. And you can just publish that and you'll keep getting passive income per month. The cool thing is you can just write two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, you know, articles. It's marketed for you on Kindle, so all you have to do is just keep writing. Uh, put, keep putting your best content out there and, you know, you can even become a famous writer. And, uh, I know how that sounds, but you could. Uh, and then freelance sites. So actually, I'm gonna go over to the next slide here. The one that I use is Fiverr, but there's also Upwork and Freelancer. I put the link in the comment below. Um, if you do use that link, it does uh, support the channel um, at no extra cost. So you, you don't actually you don't actually do anything except if you were gonna sign up anyway. I just get uh, some support for the channel. So um, why Fiverr is good is you get to price whatever you want and you can actually post your gigs. Whereas an Upwork and Freelancer, you have to bid on projects um, that other people are posting. 
So Fiverr is more like an advertising platform. We're not booking freelancers like a draw board that you have to bid for. So that's why I kind of preferred Fiverr uh, for both finding people and for, for listening services. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's called Fiverr because it used to be, you know, a service for $5. But they also have like Fiverr Business, Fiverr, uh, I believe, maybe courses as well. So uh, I, I just posted the, the, the regular Merchant Fiverr uh, below. Check that out. Um, you can do stuff just as creative writing, uh, logo design, um, you know, article writing as well. If you want to find your own uh, client base, uh, there's there's so many things. There's like voice acting. There's YouTube intros that you can do. Uh, just if you have a particular skill set, especially online, that you can deliver remotely, definitely look into this. Uh, so that also brings me to drop shipping. Let's say you don't really have um, a service that you can provide, but maybe you want to sell. And if you actually have things that you make and you can sell, you can actually use fulfillment by Amazon or Etsy or even eBay to sell your, your things. But if you don't have anything to sell, something called drop shipping, which you've probably heard of, it's super saturated, but I did want to post it just in case. Um, because if, if, if you guys are able to find your own merchants and white label them, white label just means that you find someone that provides things uh, and ships them out for you. All you have to do is the marketing. So you, you know, Whenever someone places an order on your uh, site, you can then go over to that site, order the the product that was ordered, and with the money that you receive from the other uh, from the other party, and then send it over. So it, it's very low risk. Uh, the only things that you have to manage is the actual fulfillment. So make sure that the web label agency is sending packages on time and obviously not damaged. Right. Um, the downside to this is you have to be pretty good at marketing. You have to learn how to market. So. This is why I didn't put a digital marketing agency on here because if you don't know how to use like paid advertising, uh, paid advertising, you might not be that successful. Um, you can only grow organically if you've already have kind of an email list or uh, a following. If you don't, I would start actually just getting a social media presence or a YouTube channel or a blog or something like that. So you can build up your, your list and then you can um, send them over to your, to your shop. So it's really cool. You can monetize yourself in different ways. but. Let's say uh, you can't do freelancing and you can't do drop shipping. There's also drop servicing. So this one is not saturated because people will always need a business service. I still remember my uh, my university professor, uh, he said uh, the best uh, business, at least to start out, is providing a service that other people that are starting businesses need. And I thought that was genius. So that's why I, uh, went, I went with that. So again, Fiverr Freelancer, uh, you can also use Upwork, but I, I mainly use Fiverr, sometimes Freelancer. Uh, so the one specific example that I've done is logo design. So I was doing like, a, uh, trying to get into digital marketing and this one person, and it was just Facebook ads and this one person needed a logo. I didn't know how to, how to do a logo. I didn't have Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, so I went ahead and found someone on uh, Fiverr I uh, did it for 15 bucks and I flipped it around for uh, a lot more. Um, I should have probably kept doing that, but you know, I, I, I was looking for a full-time job and I had gotten one, so uh, you know, I didn't, I, if I was already doing this, I probably would have kept going, but uh, that's just one, one example. Um, there's tons of other services that people need, such as marketing, freelancing, and the thing is you don't have to provide them, so as long as there's a need for something, uh, find a niche and then you can just find someone that's really good on these freelance sites. Uh, you can offer them a contract for ongoing services. So this is more about mediating and, and, and uh, being a middleman, uh, making sure that you're getting paid, and making sure they're getting paid and make sure they, they provide quality service. So this is more of a manager mindset, right? And um, technically it doesn't need a, uh, you know any, any cost startup. You can do this purely organically, wait for someone to pay you and then go with the freelancer and pay them. But it works a lot better if you set up everything um, in terms of your contracts with the people before you actually go ahead and find clients. Um, and you know, if you're, uh, if you're paying for the clients at first, it goes a lot better, especially if you're pricing yourself lower. So, so you can, uh, you, you can start getting that traction and then you can work on referrals after that. <clears throat> okay. So let's say now you don't want to be as hands-on. You want to be more passive. You can always rent space. So a lot of you guys know Airbnb, which is just, uh, extra rooms in your house or full, full kind of basement apartments or full full houses, full apartments. 
Um, other than that, you can use something like liquid space. So you can rent out, you know, if you have any um, any office space that you have or rooms that can be considered as co working spaces and stuff like that, you can rent those out. Other things are parking spaces. Um, cool things you can also do is vents. So, you know, there's, there's people that, you know, rent out their Airbnb for like ragers, right? And, and they get their stuff busted, but they charge a lot higher for that. Um, so if you don't want to do that, you can do something like uh, photo shoots or things that are more calm nature and then you can use like a living room. Let's say you're living in a big house by yourself. Um, like they can come in and do photo shoots and stuff like that. Okay. I've used more traditional methods, but these are some of the websites and I've also put them below. All right. So this was really interesting. I, I got into this one and um, I've, because of some other reasons, I, had to, I did have to take it down. And, <clears throat> because of the personal life, but I've used Bluehost to, to host a website and then it was actually super affordable uh, to make your own site as well. So what Bluehost does is it hosts uh, the domain name for you. So you'll find a domain name. So a domain name is like www.youtube.com, for example. So it'd be www.stacystore.com, right? And then you can uh, you go ahead and you get a, um, a website building site such as WordPress. It's the most widely used. Um, they also give, give you a discount on that one and then you can actually create your own website. So a lot of people pay $500, $600, $1,000, dollars for people to make their site. But if you're just starting out and you're just doing a blog, it's, it's pretty simple to just create a few pages uh, and learn how to do it yourself. It took me um, about kind of a two days to make, make the site learning from, from absolute easy. And then actually this is a skill you can learn and then you can go ahead and, and, and build WordPress sites for other people. Um, you can do very simple jobs and just get a couple hundred bucks on that, right? So <clears throat> this is very highly recommended. Um, again, there's a link below um, if you want to do this support channel at no extra cost to you. Once you have the blog, you do get money off AdSense. That's what people you know, think. They get, a, they get some sense off, off, off of placing ads and banner ads on their site. However, you don't make too much from that, especially not at first. So you can actually monetize it so you can make some de decent income by getting kind of an email list going, you can do videos, there's, sp there's sponsorships, there's guest posts, uh, there's other services that you can add. So it's a way to kind of also advertise yourself and put yourself in a position of uh, knowledge and power, uh, to, you know, in, in a good way towards your readers so that they trust you and uh, are able to use your services or even products. <clears throat> so you can combine these with every other thing on here. And this is why this is the most important thing on here, okay? And you can also use vlogging. So like YouTube <clears throat> and, um, and other sites. Okay, so this one's really cool, especially if you have a car where you don't particularly like the paint, jo paint job. Um, and also if you do commute a lot, so I've used actually local methods for this, but you can use something called Carver Ties. So what they do is they match you with campaigns and then they wrap your car in a certain, uh, whatever the campaign is, and they pay you 100, 200, 400 bucks per month to, uh, to wrap your car. Uh, you do need to have kind of some, you know, some good mileage per week. So this, you know, if you're commuting to, to work across great, great distances, this works. However, where, where it really shines is if you combine it with a rideshare or a delivery uh, app. So you've heard of Uber Eats, Uber Drive, there's also Amazon Flex, there's DoorDash, right? So if you deliver food or you act like a you know, transportation taxi sort of thing, uh, you can wrap your car uh, because you because it's gonna be, you're gonna be traveling so much, they're gonna be taking you on campaigns more often because you drive more. Obviously they want more eyes on your car. And then you can be picking up um, clients and, and food. So uh, this this actually doesn't also doesn't necessarily need to be a side hustle. This can be kind of a full time thing if you combine these two and some of the other. Um, you can, if you can combine these two, you'll you'll probably make pretty good coin, especially if you're uh, in a in a higher cost of living area or a more kind of uh, city area. Okay? So another thing is teaching and tutoring. So you can tutor absolutely anything or teach. Um, if you are already a teacher, you can uh, you can easily uh, uh, supplement your income by tutoring. So here's where you would actually you can you can tutor uh, other students or students of other classes or students from other schools, or you can go online and uh, and find what to teach about. 
Uh, however, if if you you know are, are a tutor or if you've never taught before, and you don't really have any sub subjects that you know are you're specialized in, such as math. I used to tutor math. Um, you can do English teaching. So a lot of my viewers are English speaking, native English or uh, of that same proficiency. So there's um, VIP kids, right? So if you have your bachelors, uh, a lot of a lot of people uh, watching my channel that are um, of age have their bachelors. So all you need is bachelors. Um, you, can, you can sign up for VIP kids. They do pay in USD. So if you are from Canada, uh, then you are. You know, you're getting you're getting 30 percent extra just for uh, you know just for for that they pay between 14 and 22 usd depending on your qualifications uh and you basically need very little experience so if you've you know been a, a counselor for a couple months that's that's good enough okay um if you don't have a bachelor's you can actually go on cambly so try out cambly i think you teach one-on-one -on -one with adults and they don't need a bachelor's uh but they do pay significantly less i think they pay like two, 10 usd per hour uh, the VIP Kids one is not for everyone, so I tried signing up here uh, a while ago. And when I'm doing the demo lesson, uh, you are interacting with uh, with kids from Asia, I think from China specifically, that uh, are you know three, four, five, six, seven, very young children. So you have to be, and they also don't speak English, right? So the, the, even though the lessons are specifically in English and they're very short. It's actually super easy if you're a teacher. If you're not, um, and you're not very engaging, you're not very happy-go-lucky, and you know you're making a lot of hand movements and you're doing over-exaggerated movements and stuff like that. Like, can I hear you and stuff like that? It, it's very difficult. I I, I can't be like that. Um, it kind of trains me. You have to be pretty extrovert for that, or at least you know very used to dealing with young children. So. Um, if that's more your case, um, if that's your case, then go ahead. It's actually really good income for a side hustle, especially if you live in Canada, getting paid on the high rents, and you can do as little as as little as much as you like. It's a really good side hustle because um, it goes on China time, so you can do it before and after work, uh, and you're 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 you can make some decent decent money. If not, you can also do courses. So you can create a course. This actually does take an investment. So you can do Udemy, Teachable. There's also ClickFunnels. You can do a, a whole lot with ClickFunnels, um, but you can do courses on there as well. You can teach absolutely anything and set your own prices. So you can teach uh, financial literacy, for example. Uh, you can teach drop shipping. You can teach another language. That's that's huge. Um, you can teach how to start a business. Anything you can think of, uh, and you can monetize in super different ways. Um, this is also an advertising platform, right? So. You can advertise your other your blogs, your services and stuff like that. You can upsell there's products, there's merch that you can do. Um, if you guys have heard of uh, print on the on the, like design on delivery. So the famous uh, t-shirt printing, right? Like um, I can't I can't think of it right now. It's a like t-shirt type in, you know, just t-shirt printing on, on demand um, services. You can do that and you can just get uh, uh, merchandise so that when someone orders, they actually ship it for you and just take a commission on uh, what your prices are okay so now for the next five i'm actually just going to talk about local stuff because i've talked enough about like online things that you can do but you can combine this with uh with some online services so the first thing is um service ind industry jobs so a side hustle especially let's say bartending if you do it you know once a week on a really busy night you can make a lot of tips and then that's cash flow that's going right in your pocket same with the catering they pay very well uh, and you can you can do events, um, and this is very flexible. Uh, same with servers and, and 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 the like, baristas, stuff like that. Um, this one's really good because you actually get cash now, and because of the tips, it varies on how much you can make, uh, right? Like you know, I have heard of a bartender you know just going in for a few hours on a Friday or a Saturday night and you know, getting a few hundred bucks, right? So um, if this is something that you can see yourself doing it's actually probably a really good side hustle especially uh, if you if you do it a bank for your buck on select evenings <clears throat> uh two is the seasonal so the always in the bank drops so these are local services that you can provide that don't take any marketing you can literally just talk to your neighbors um you can just talk to your neighbors you can put up signs or whatever just kind of knock on the worst such as like snow removal and grass cutting right like no one's gonna be pissed off if you're walking around with a shovel uh you know telling them hey i can clear your shot you're driving for yeah you know, whatever I don't know, 20 40 bucks um 
something like that. Pressure washers I found are amazing. Everyone, everyone's always needs a pressure washer and always, someone always needs a pressure washer to clean something. Um, if you, you kind of, if you've ever used a pressure washer, if you get that feeling of satisfaction whenever you clean something with a pressure washer, like a deck, uh, it's, it's really cool. So you can go and do that for money you can get your exercise that way too. Um, so you can do drivers as well. Someone uh, mentioned that cemeteries one time. Uh, so you can actually post, um, you can actually post the, uh, like uh, the signs on, on, on local graveyards and cemeteries. Um, and you can you can power wash a cemetery pretty easily, and you really have access to to public water. So you don't have to pay. You just kind of you you, you go with your pressure washer, you plug in, and then you just clean whatever, right? Um, driveways, and, and you can do leaf blowing services like that too. Window cleaning is a big one. Car cleaning and detailing is a huge one. Um, you can obviously everyone always needs that. Um, if you can do the inside of a car, you can charge quite a bit. Um, you do have to actually buy some supplies for that, uh, but you know that investment will probably pay off in like one or two clients anyway. Okay? Junk and trash collecting is a huge one too, but depending on your uh, municipality, you do have to check if you can do this. Um, and if you want to go big, you have to get yourself a truck. Uh, but I know some people that in university they used to do this every summer. They would make thousands, absolutely thousands of dollars enough for uh, to pay their courses for the year and then some. In one or two, three months of, of, of the short summer that we have here in Canada. <clears throat> so another thing is flipping and restoring. So you can flip items in garage sales, yard sales, thrift stores, Salvation Army, uh, Valley Village and stuff like that. You sell them on Amazon Arbitrage, eBay and Facebook Marketplace, or you can do a local thing, but obviously you just do local listings online where people will find you. Uh, restoring furniture has the biggest margin because it has very little cost. Usually it's actually zero because people want you to take a big sofa or the big piano or the big whatever uh, and move their furniture and they'll give it away if you pick it up. Uh, something like, uh, like pianos I see all the time, they're in great condition, they just can't get rid of it and you can resell it for quite a bit of, of, uh, of cash if you uh, have a way to transport it. <clears throat> This one's pretty cool and uh, something I actually want to look into is pet walking and, and pet sitting. You can even do grooming if you are licensed and you can advertise yourself this way. Uh, so make sure you do get yourself some insurance, but you can even set up a dog daycare if you just get yourself a little bit of insurance. Uh, and then let's say you're working from home, you can just watch two or three dogs and just make a couple bucks here and there. Um, some sets of a wagon rover so you can walk, you can groom them or even house sit. So uh, I, know, I know people on this site that uh, house sit um, mm -hmm. pets while they're away. So you, you know, some people probably have really cool homes and you can, you know, they usually leave you food and, and you're able to use some of the uh, facilities there as well uh, while you're watching a dog. So if you love pets um, and you can also house sit and you can see if you're a real estate like I am, that's, that's also a huge bonus. So uh, if you're working remotely, you can take your laptop with you and just work there while, you know, if you're lonely, you can, just get keeping company and people are paying you for it, right? So I think this one's a really cool one, especially if you are the right person for it. <clears throat> uh, so the last thing is, because I just want to leave this one with a bang, is that you can do absolutely anything um, at first. And then, you know, if, if it becomes a full-time thing, you can incorporate, but oh, just try out micro drops here and there. Uh, if you do love video games, just hop on Twitch and just start streaming like your video games doesn't really matter if, if you're going to play the video games any, anyway and you know you already have a job uh, over time you might even build some some sort of presence you might even have 100 views after a while right so you never know um, if you like to craft if you like to get hands on if you like to make little baubles and trinkets uh, you can get on Etsy uh, around like the holidays you can just make most of your money that way and just sell like two or three times a year um, if you're a content creator Patreon and YouTube um, if you have any kind of digital services that you can offer, like IT services, data entry services, creative such as logo, uh, graphic design, UI, UX design, you go on Fiverr again. Um, if you're into acting, you go on We Audition. Uh, that one's really cool. You do have to pay. It's not too much. I think it's like 10 bucks a month. Um, US, I believe. But uh, you get to read with, uh, with other actors. Uh, and you can see some testimonials there. So that one's pretty cool, especially if you've always kind of had that itch to to act, you can do that on the side as well. So you, you read scripts with maybe a potentially famous actor because uh, famous actors do use that. 
uh, and much more. You don't always need the internet. If you have a skill that you can offer, if you have a problem that you can solve, all you really need to do is put yourself out there, put some signs up. Uh, you can even do it for free, honestly. Like uh, people will always think free, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll wash this for free, do a really good job and they'll refer you. Um, you, you. Have you ever had like something done in your backyard or your or your roof or whatever and then your neighbors come out and, you're at, and they ask the person if they can give them a quote too, it's that easy. Um, anything that's local and very, always in demand, um, you're always going to drum up referrals. You don't really need to market yourself. You just kind of need to get your get off the ground running, and you can get one or two clients. Sometimes you can even handle them um, if, you, if you're doing the, the local ones. But then again, you're trading your money for your time, right? So, um, <clears throat> get so um, get get as as passive as you can. That's all that I have for today, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will put out other other videos. Please let me know what you would like to know in regards of uh, financial you know, budgeting and investing and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.